today we will be creating a hello world class for that the basic requirements are to set up an environment we will be dealing with a dynamic web project and we will be providing a jersey jars and different jersey jars will be provided then we will configure the web.xml file and we will provide different parameters of servlet that is servlet name class and servlet mapping using particular url and then we will make a class for that class we will first make a simple hello class and after that we will send some certain parameter in url and depending upon the parameter sent we will be printing the different data on our front end so let's get started so this is my eclipse here i will create a dynamic web project and for that i will go to file go to new and go to dynamic web project and i will name it as my rest application and i'll click on next and on next and i'll click on generate web.xml deployment descriptor option and i'll click on finish so here what we have done we have created a dynamic web project and next step is to add jersey jars for adding jersey jars you should go on jersey.github.io and click on downloads and when you click on download different versions of jersey jars will be pr provided on this page so click on the bundle part and you'll get the zip file and extract the different jars from that zip file and provide in the lib folder of your eclipse eclipse that is this lib folder so i have already done this so this is the jar which i have extracted this is the folder which i have extracted and i'll go to different folders and i'll add different jars i'll simply copy this and add this in the lib and again i'll go to the second folder i'll copy this and i'll add this in the lib and for third that is the lib folder of this jersey jar i'll add this in on the lib also so what we have done is we have provided jars in the lib folder and one more thing i'll do and i'll go to the properties build path add external jars i will add all the jars same jars here also one by one i will add all the jars from these three folders i have done adding of jars and here our environment has been created next step is to configure the web.xml and here we don't require any welcome file list so i am removing this what we require is servlet so we will create servlet and i'll close this servlet and in this i'll provide servlet name i'll close this also and i'll provide servlet class and i'll close this also and the thing which is required is provide init parameter and in the init parameter i'll provide the parameter name and parameter value that is param name and second thing is param value so our servlet folder has servlet xml has been created and next thing is to create servlet mapping servlet mapping and here i'll provide servlet name and next step is to provide url url pattern so and our eclipse provides a shortcut to manage these in a proper way to map and for this i'm expanding this i will simply do control shift and f everything will be managed in a proper way now for servlet name go to the java resources in the library and find servlet core file of our jersey here it is the servlet core file and simply go for servlet and you'll find find a servlet container class right click on this and copy the qualified name and paste in the servlet class so i have pasted it here and don't forget to remove dot class from here and i'll name my servlet as my servlet simply i'll name this here also 
and I will provide a parameter as slash star only and I will name my parameter and for providing parameter name that is in any parameter we will be dealing with the package and for jersey the package which is provided is jersey dot config dot server dot provider dot packages this is the packages this is the package where we will provide our package value and package value is what I mean that whatever package I will create in the search folder that is suppose I am creating package here as play java dot summit dot my rest I will simply copy this whole thing and I have created a package and in the package value I will provide this only in relation to this I am providing my package value and the, for providing servlet container class I have used servlet container in the servlet core of jersey so we are done with our this part one more thing is required here that is load on startup I will provide this as one only this is basically used to load servlets numbering I will provide one for this for loading this servlet so we have done our servlet part in the web.xm so we have configured our project now we will go to src and I will create a class second thing is to create a class I will create a class that is for hello I am using my hello and I don't want main method I will click on finish and here what I will do I will provide path of different like my I've created my hello class so I'll provide the path and the and the, according to the URL of this path my hello will be reached like I'll provide path and for path I'll provide the URL as hello world and when I'll hit on this hello world this path, this class will be called and in this I'll provide the method to be called as get and I, second thing is to provide the provider provider we will simply use produces and for produces we'll, we will provide the type that is what type it is that is text type or something else so we will provide media data and that is media list not media list but media type and for media type we will use text plane and because I am simply returning hello in my project so I will use this only and provide the method here that is public and I will be returning string as hello get hello I am naming my method as get hello and I will return I will return hello hello world I will simply print this only and I will import the get method so we are done with our part and now what I will do I will right click on this and run as run on server yes I want this tomcat I am removing this I am using my rest application and I will click on finish so my server is starting now let's see our server has started so I will simply hit this or uh, let me take this URL out of this and I will open on my chrome so I am pasting this URL and second thing which I require to paste is this URL hello world which I mapped with my class so I'll provide this as here and I'll simply enter C you got hello world which has provided in the my class and second thing now which I want to do is to provide certain parameter in the URL so I will 
simply do at the rate path and i'll simply pass a parameter with name and in here i will simply write at the rate and i will use here as context and in context i'll pass http sorry for this http header and http header and here i'll pass path parameter that is path param and in the path param i'm expanding this and the path param i'll provide the name of which i provided in the path that is name this and i'll name it with the type as string string name so i provided this now what i'll do i'll provide name here also and why this is this allowed at this location and why this is giving at the rate context http header and header at this comma path parameter oh sorry right at the rate path param now it's okay so we are done with our hello world with name and i'll name it simply modify this also hello world my name is whatever name which i will provide here and after this simply write this okay now my server is loading and i will provide hello world which i provided here only and second thing i will when i click on enter i won't get anything print to be printing here now it's loaded see we have not got anything to be printed here because we will we will have to provide a parameter also what parameter that is the name parameter which we have provided here that is here so we will provide here as sumit so see we have got hello world my name is sumit which we have provided in the url and which is passed in the path parameter and as a string in the return type thank you for watching